Welcome back to Devices Setup channel again and today we will learn how to set up Wavelink Outdoor 1200 long range Wi-Fi extender as a repeater access point and in a router mode. First, we will start with the repeater mode. So this video works for all Wavelink long range extender models. To start with, first and foremost, you will have to plug the Ethernet cable into the WAN port and then screw the bottom cap. Also, make sure to screw all the four antennas and the 5 GHz should be screwed in the 5 GHz place and the 2 GHz antennas should be screwed at the 2 GHz place. Next, you can connect the other end of the Ethernet cable into the PoE switch and make sure you attach the Ethernet cable on the right side of the PoE switch as shown in the image. Next, we will need to connect the power adapter to the unit and wait for at least 60 seconds then using your phone or windows computer or mac computer go to the wi-fi list and there look for wavelink n open network now connect to it once connected it will say no internet so next simply open any browser like google firefox or safari and then in the url type 192.168.10.1 and hit enter this will take you to its setup page and if this IP doesn't work for you then try ap.setup and hit enter. This will also open the Wavelink Outdoor Extender setup page for you. On the login window type username as admin and then hit enter and then select region as global followed by your time zone. For reboot scheduling option select auto reboot and create a new login password. On the next screen, select the repeat mode. You will then need to select your Wi Fi router SSID that you want to extend and type its password for verification. Here, you can also customize your Wavelink Outdoor Range Extender SSID as per your choice, like Wavelink underscore Outdoor underscore 2.4 GHz or maybe Wavelink underscore Outdoor underscore 5 GHz, etc. Once you hit apply, it will hardly take around 60 seconds for the outdoor extender to get connected with your router. After successful setup, you will be able to see the extender network in your Wi-Fi list. You can tap on it and type your router's password to connect your phone, computer, MacBook, smart TVs or any other device to this network. So this was Wavelink Outdoor Range Extender setup in a repeater mode. Moreover, you can also use the extra LAN port on the PoE switch to connect your computer, gaming console or any other device to the extender with the help of an Ethernet cable. Now let's see how you can set up it in an AP mode. So basically in AP mode, you get better speed than repeater mode. But the only drawback is that you will always have to keep the Ethernet cable connected between the router and the extender even after setup. So from your router's LAN port to the LAN port on your PoE switch, connect the Ethernet cable and then go to the Wi-Fi list, connect to Wavelink and network and follow the all procedure as we did for repeater setup. But this time, just select the type as LAN bridge or AP mode. Similarly, for router mode, you will have to connect the internet cable directly into the PoE switch as shown in the image and follow the same procedure as mentioned above. As per official Wavelink statement, you should not use more than 60 meter long Ethernet cable with this extender. So you need to take care of that. Lastly, if you found this video useful, then do kindly show your love and support by giving the video a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel. Moreover, in case your gadget is not working, then you can get in touch with the Wavelink support on the details you see on the screen or else you can hire me online to fix the problem for you. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful day.